Hello, everybody. I know uh, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but um, I thought this was worthy and also seasonally appropriate. I always enjoy when the, a new release comes out and somebody posts a video of it immediately so I can see what it is and if I want to spend my money on it. Well, today I'm opening the special edition 4K Blu-ray release of Black Christmas from Scream Factory with the poster and the pin set. So, this is it. I'm going to cut into it. I'm going to be as quick as possible so we're not lingering and throw it out for tea, right? Black Christmas is very closely my favorite horror movie. I'd say uh, it it's probably tied with the abominable Dr. Fives. Um, Fives being, for, in my opinion, far more comedic, but Black Christmas has its own share of laughs, thanks to the lovely house mother. Um, so, here we go. Wow. Okay. I'm already I'm really kind of excited. <laughs> uh, so, here's the, um, here's the Blu-ray and the 4K with the original poster art, with poor, should I say who this is on the front? Is this a spoiler? I mean, this movie was made in 1974. Chances are, if you're watching this, you've seen this. So here's Claire in the chair in the attic with the doll. Um, yeah, I always, always loved this art and uh, really glad that I, I loved the last, uh, the last art that was done um, for the Screen Factory release, but you know, you really can't beat the classics with this. Anyway, so, yeah, I guess I could hack into this, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now because what I really want to look at is they offered this interesting pin set this time around with this release, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, let's see. Really, really cool graphic. Same thing, but more uh, stylized than the front. Well, oh, it's packaged very tightly. It's coming, it's coming. Here we are. This comes off this way. Underneath this black foam, we have an exceptionally beautiful set of pins. Yep. Um, I have to say, I mean, I love these. They're gorgeous. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put them on. I have, a, I have a holiday party to go to tomorrow. Maybe I'll wear one on my label. Maybe the unicorn. That would be kind of cool. I really do love these. But you know what I would have loved more than these? It was a Black Christmas ornament. It's, I would trade all five of these in for a Black Christmas ornament. Like, or how about, how about a bloody unicorn tree topper? You know, these are great, but come on, give us some, I don't know, bloody balls or, or you know, I don't know, Billy swinging from a, from a hook. You know, he's got the hook, and he's, you know, and swinging from it. It seems like it writes itself, right? These are beautiful. But I don't need more pins. And you're like, so why did you buy them? Because I love this movie so much. But, uh, all right, let's see. For what? Do you, do you have a pair of pliers? For what? I can't get this open. And I want to show them the poster. Oh, that's a screwdriver. Rotate. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought we were I thought we were team working. No, no, Sorry. I just need I, you to hold it steady. Alright, holding it. Pull tight. We got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. That's my guy, everybody. I'm at his house. 
and he's helping me show you this poster. I'm so glad they roll these now in my uh, in my front hall for the holidays this year. I have the uh, the poster from the first Black Christmas release that Scream Factory put out, and it's all got the folded lines in it, and it just oh well. But look at this. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really beautiful, flawless. Yeah. God, I love this. So. Now, it would be nice if somebody, and I mean, I know a lot of people don't love the remake, the 2006 remake, but I think it's, it's good campy fun. Um, it's nothing like the first, first one, obviously, but you got Andrea Martin in there again, and I think that's really, really fun. Um, she's, she's the house mom in the remake, and she was, you know, she's Phil in the original. I think that's kind of cool. I'd like to see a, a restored, maybe director's cut of that one. I don't love the end, but I love some of the stuff they did in that. I do not like the 2019 version at all. Oh no. I don't want to talk about that. Ever again. Let's strike it from the record. Hmm. <laughs> plastic they wrap this thing in is like super diesel i don't know what's going on here anyway okay there we go so slipcase like i said earlier original art inside original art Ooh, isn't that great i love when you open your expensive blu-ray and it pops out and lands in your lap it's my favorite um 4k disc features the uh sorry 4K disc features the front of the house. Blu-ray features Billy. That's another hook. And uh, the uh, special features disc features our beloved house mother. Um, I mean, this is a three disc set. If you don't already own Black Christmas and you, you like it, I would say this is a no-brainer. If you bought the Blu-ray release a few years ago like me and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know. This looks like it's a worthy upgrade. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to show you guys. I like the black case. Very nice. I'm into the poster. I love the enamel pins. So, if you're a freak like me and you love this sick little movie, go for it. If, if you know... Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, really. I hope you enjoyed my little holiday review. It's been a really long time since I did an unboxing, just because I don't really... I don't know. I guess I just don't do this much anymore, but I felt this was, like, uh, appropriate. Anyway, this is long, and uh, I want to stop now. So, I'm going to stop now. But happy holidays. I'll be back soon with a stack review probably or something. I don't know. Hi, new subscribers. I keep getting like a few new subscribers here and there. Glad somebody's watching these videos. Hi. Enjoy. I'll be back. Um, that's it. Happy holidays. Bye.